Now we're going to divide fractions, and so if you remember from arithmetic, so an arithmetic example, if I were to take one half times uh, three fourths, or divided by three fourths, this would be invert or multiply one half times four thirds. This would be multiply four over six, reduce my fraction, I'd end up with two over three. Now there's no difference between division in algebra and division in arithmetic. The processes are the same. The only difference that I'm dealing with is multiplication groupings instead. So here is a fraction divided by a fraction. So the first thing that I want to do is to invert and multiply. So I'd end up with y squared plus y over y squared minus 4 times y squared plus 3y minus 28 over y squared minus 1. And grouping, just like we did last time, grouping, 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 and then when you multiply it becomes one thing. And now we're going to factor and reduce. So this becomes a y times y plus 1, greatest common factor. And then the second grouping is y plus 7, y minus 4. Difference of squares, y minus 4, y plus 4. Difference of squares, y squared minus 1, is y minus 1 y plus 1. And now what I look to do is to match. And what do I have? I have a y plus 1 and a y plus 1. And by the way, those are the only things that are going to go. So my final answer ends up being a big one. y times y plus 7, y minus 4, over y, <coughs> whoops, this should be a 2, this should be a 2, sorry about that, y minus 2, y plus 2, y minus 1, and then nothing you can do about that, uh, that's all she wrote. So be sure that uh, in your notes you change both of those to 2's. And that's my bad. I apologize for that. Not paying attention. Same issue is on this one. And the first thing I do is to invert and multiply. So I'm going to end up with y squared plus 4y minus 21 over y squared plus 3y minus 28 times y squared plus 4y minus 32, y squared plus 14y plus 48. And now we did what we did before. This is a grouping, grouping. We're going to multiply. That forms a single fraction. Grouping, grouping. Now we will factor and reduce, or simplify, that's going to be the same name for it. So here we go, factor. I'm going to end up with, for the first one, y squared plus 4y minus 21 is going to be a y plus 7, y minus 3. y squared plus 4y minus 32 is going to be a y plus 8 y minus 4. y squared plus 3y minus 28 is going to be a y 
plus 7 and a y minus 4. y squared plus 14y plus 48 is a y plus 8 and a y plus 6. Now I look to match things up. y plus 7, y plus 7, those are going to reduce out. That's going to form a 1. y plus 8, y plus 8, those reduce out. That forms a 1. y minus 4, y minus 4, those reduce out. Those form a 1. And I am left with a final answer of y minus 3, y plus 6.